Wait, first tell me about the symbolism of, of your name. You know, JXCN. Um, right, for JXCN, <laughs> go, but, but then deciding to you, you want to use your, your name. So mm -hmm. where are we now with that, with JXCN versus Jaden Hostler? And when I first decided to go by JXCN, I didn't really have like a reason. I actually wanted to be named Jax, J-A-X, but there's already an artist named Jax. And yeah. so I was 18 and I was just like, I don't know, put an X in my name and take out the, the vowels. I had JXDN, it's just Jaden. Then I, I went to mm -hmm. rehab. I got sober for like nine months and I don't know, I had a really big identity crisis. When you go to rehab, rehab was great for the sense of like sobriety, but it made me like doubt myself a lot. And I've never doubted myself. And so when I started to doubt myself, I was like, oh, I need to change my name and I need to change the sound of my music and I need to change like my clothes. Like, so I did and it was a whole big process and I went to South America. I have a really big fan base in, in uh, Brazil specifically. I saw all my fans and I was just like, oh no, like I totally just messed up. I called my label and I told my team, I was like, yo, I'm gonna change my name back. And they were like, no, you're not. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> I totally am. And so I did and luckily they, they stuck with me through that because it is a big process. But I was at a point where I would rather tell everyone I was wrong and go back to being the person that I started this entire journey with than try to be someone that I'm not, you right. know? It was just a human moment.